This look of him is saying, are you fucking serious? Yay. So it's nine past six, we are back on the road, uh, sunrise is soon, it's pretty late, it's also getting really early dark by now, uh, 8.30 and it's dark. So we have to hike 18 kilometers, it's just flat along the coastline and I hope the next place, also the camping site was okay here, but the surroundings. <laughs> So I hope it will be better over there. Let's see. A bike line several kilometers long. That's really nice. These are the first buffaloes I see. And they are very, very curious. <laughs> Sorry, it's against the sun, so that's why it's not better. So all over you can buy buffalo mozzarella and I never saw buffaloes here. So these are the first ones. This is something I never had the last seven years that during the hike, all of a sudden the chain jumps from the Tooth wheel? Is it tooth wheel? I don't know. So this took now one hour to repair it. Uh, and uh, But it, there were two people who asked me if they could help me. And unfortunately it happened right behind the working place of a prostitute. But she was really nice. She asked several times if she can help me. And at the very end she held the water bottle for me that I can wash my hands. There I found now a really nice place under trees. It's really large. The camping site owner is really a nice guy. <sighs> so I'm happy and the surrounding is much better as the last two nights. Somebody built his house really close to the sea. It's very beautiful, but the other side is, if you are living that close to the water, especially to the sea water, then you have got only problems because you have got 80% humidity in the entire house. So your books, your clothes, everything will be always a little bit wet. And of course, the house will rotten fast. What does it mean to really know another person? Really knowing another person means far more than knowing superficial details about their life. It is about a deep understanding of their personality, values, dreams, fears and the life story that has shaped them. This understanding is based on a number of key aspects. First, empathy. Truly knowing a person requires empathy, which is the ability to empathize with their emotional state and see the world from their perspective. It is about understanding their feelings without immediately judging them or trying to change them. Second, communication. Open and honest communication is important. 
this involves spending time together and having conversations that go beyond everyday banalities and touch on deeper issues. Through such conversations you learn to understand and respect each other's thoughts and opinions. Third, trust. Trust is the basis on which you can really get to know someone. It enables an atmosphere of safety in which both sides dare to share their true thoughts and feelings. Fourth, patience and time. People are constantly developing and changing. Really getting to know someone also means recognizing and accepting this development. It requires patience and the willingness to accompany the changes in the other person's life. Fifth, shared experiences. By sharing experiences, both good and bad, you learn how the other person reacts in different situations. This can help to develop a deeper understanding of their reaction patterns and behavior. Sixth, acceptance. Really knowing another person also means accepting them with all their strengths and weaknesses. It is not about wanting to change them, but accepting them as they are. Seventh, appreciation. Finally, truly knowing someone also involves a deep appreciation for the other person. This appreciation goes beyond superficial qualities and recognizes the value of the other person as a human being. Knowing a person to this is a rare and valuable relationship that often requires years closeness and close together. It's a connection based on deep connection and mutual and a friendship, a marriage, a partnership in which only table and bed are shared, but also all the thoughts that you would otherwise not share with the outside world. As a funeral speaker, I am always surprised at how little couples know about each other even after 50 years of marriage. And when I get to know someone and start asking questions that get to the heart of the matter, I am told I am exhausting. I find being superficial really exhausting and a relationship at this level even more so. Mental health as well as being able to fathom the true character of your own soul requires the ability to open up, ask questions and always convey to our partner or girlfriend that you are not asking questions in order to judge but in order to understand. Of course, this may not always end well, but then it wasn't the right person, was it? Do you really know yourself? Have you explored all your light and dark corners and can you type and explain them clearly? How well do you really know your partner? How often do you call your innermost thoughts? If not, why not? What do you love about him or her? Yeah, no, you're done.